Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can load some different maps onto our Garmin compatible watch for when we're using the watch in the outdoors and especially when we're out walking and hiking with our watch. Some of the Garmin watches, such as the Phoenix 7X and the Epix 2 that we're using in today's examples, come preloaded with Garmin's topoactive European maps, which cover all of Europe. Great maps, love them for cycling. We can use them for outdoor activities such as walking and hiking, but we don't always see the same detail that we get on an Ordnance Survey map that we're used to using in the UK. And we can't put Ordnance Survey maps on our watches. So we've got an example here of some maps that come from a place called Toki Toaster. And with these maps downloaded for the United Kingdom, you will see more detail on your watch and a lot more you know not quite as much detail necessarily as an ordnance survey map but it is a lot more detail for those outdoor activities such as walking and hiking there'll be a link on the video below underneath this video to the website that we're on to the browser page that you can see at the top of the screen now so if you use that link it will take you straight to the website that we're on now so we're using the phoenix 7x and epix 2 watches if you have got a compatible watch such as something like a Phoenix 6X, the, the, the Plus versions, and the 5 Plus watches. That's the sort of watch you could put the maps on as well. There's a list on the website when you go into the shop showing you other compatible devices. Now, when you're using a Mac, unlike a Windows computer, the Mac doesn't work with the new MTP media transfer protocol that we use on the newer Garmin watches. So we're actually using a program on our Mac called Android File Transfer. We have a separate video on how we downloaded this program to allow our Mac to connect to the watch. There's a link below this video also to our video on YouTube on using Android file transfer so that you'll be able to see your watch when it's connected to your Mac and drag the maps that we're going to copy and download from the website onto the watch. So we're just going to show you how you purchase the maps first and download them. Second part of the video will show you what the maps look like on the two watches that we're using. So I've went on the link from our YouTube channel onto the website, onto the Toki Toaster website. And I'm just going to scroll down to where we got the option to select countries in the drop down box. So I can either select from the drop down box or what I can do, if I just scroll further down, I can just select the country where we've got the British Isles. So we have got the drop down box where it says select and you'll get a list of countries. Well, I'm simply going to left click on the British Isles and you'll see it open with a screen saying what type of map do you want to download. Um, so we've got the automatic download, which is what we're going to do today, which means in your downloads, once you've paid for the map and you click on the link to download, you'll have an image file that we can then drag into the Garmin folder on our watch. There's a few other options here. So if you had purchased a handheld Garmin device that was compatible with the maps, there's options for micro SD cards and other options, but we're going to use the automatic download option, which is the very top option. And you can see here, it's the British Isles we've selected in Ireland and it lists the areas that it covers. So I'm just going to left click on automatic download and then it'll go to the screen where we can get some more information on the map and add the map to the basket. So at the bottom of the screen, there's actually two options on the map. I'm just going to scroll up a bit there. Sorry, I just went too far. We've got one for £13 and one for £11. The one for £13, which is the Pro map, that actually has elevation data built in, which is certainly the better option if you want to see graph data, elevation data on walks that you send to your watch and when you're walking with the watch. So we always select that one. It's only £2 more than the standard one. So the one for £13 I'm just going to left click on read more and that'll take us to the next page where we can add it to the basket. So just wait for that to load on the read more. And once that screen loads, I'm just going to scroll down the screen and it gives you the option here of some images you can look at, give you an idea what you're going to be purchasing and you pick which Garmin model you have. So there's a list of all the models here that are compatible and I'm just going to pick the Phoenix 7X that I'm using today and that we're using a Mac computer. There is an option for a one year download protection, which means you can re-download the map if you lose your download by getting in touch with the website owners up to a year. That's an extra five pound. I'm sticking with the 13 pound. So I'm simply going to click on add to cart and then it'll go to the website where you put in your payment details. So you enter your payment details here. Um, 
So I'll just scroll down a bit. There we go, basket. Sorry, I went too far there. So it shows you what you're purchasing, and it's the top right of the screen where it's got the basket and checkout. I was jumping the gun a little bit there. You've got the option to remove it from the basket with a little white cross in the red circle. I can view the basket, check you've got the right one. I'm just going to go to checkout now. So sorry, checkout first. And then once I'm on checkout, that's where we can then enter our payment details below. Once you've entered those details and click to pay, you'll actually get a link straight on the page to do the download, but you do also get an email as well. Once you get that email, it also has a link to click on to do the download. And what will happen is I'm just going to minimize this screen a second. I'm going to go into Finder and my downloads because we've actually already done the downloads. So on my Mac, I'm going into my downloads and you actually end up with a zip file, a TT50 British Isles Contour DEM zip file. So that's the one I've downloaded. With it being a zip file, with the Mac, you normally have an application on your Mac to unzip. So on our Mac, we actually double left clicked with our cursor on the zip file and automatically in the same downloads folder, we then ended up with a folder, an unzipped folder here called TT50 British Isles and Contours DEM. So I double left click on to go into that one. We can see here we've got the image file, so it's the one that says .img 1.36 gigabytes. So just make a note of the memory size because you do need to look at what memory you've got left on your watch if you've already downloaded a lot of maps, but it's 1.36 gig at the moment. There's a read document that you can read, a text document with information. We like the fact there's actually a PDF map key on the download as well here. I've already opened up the key gives you an idea what you're going to see. I'll just put this at full size. So it is actually a map key where you can actually look at what you're going to be seeing on the map, what the symbols mean, what the footpath icons are, etc. So that is the map key. I'm just going to minimize that now. So in this folder, we've got the image file. What I need to do is drag that into the Garmin folder on my watch. Now, normally, if you haven't put on Android File Transfer, the program that we're using, and there'll be a link to the video below on how we use this program, you won't be able to see your watch in Finder. So what we're looking at in Finder under Devices is the Android File Transfer program that we use. So I'm just going to double left click on that to open it. And it's the option that says Android file transfer. I'm doing a double left click on there and it's now opened up my Garmin. So this is my watch here, four folders and it's the folder called Garmin. That's where I need to drag this image file in. So if I just minimize the Android file transfer now and just leave the box that I've just opened up there. And then if I go back to Finder on the Mac and into my downloads, into the TT50 folder where the download is. And I'm looking for that image file. I'm just going to drag the box to the side so it's easier to see. So we've got the two boxes open now and I'm basically going to drag that TT50 file into a blank space just on my Garmin folder. So actually where I've got the Garmin folder, I don't want it in any of the other folders. So where you've got the heading Garmin, the blue folder, if I just drop it there, that'll actually go into the Garmin folder. So just be careful you don't drag it into one of the other folders, um, the audio book one, etc., or one of the folders within the Garmin folder. You literally want to just drag it into the folder called Garmin. Once that downloads, it says it's going to take a few minutes to do. I can then unplug my watch, eject my watch from the Mac, and then when I turn the watch on, it'll say loading maps. And then on our next video, we'll show you what the maps look like when you're viewing them on both a Phoenix 7X watch and the Epix 2. So please just remember below the video we've actually got some um, links to some videos that show you firstly um, a link sorry to the actual website that we're using so there'll be a link to the Talky Talks Toaster website with the, the site that we're using and also there's a link to the Android file transfer program that we've used to get these maps onto the Mac. So I'm just going to minimize this down now and we'll just see how that's doing. So it's copying across there. You can see it's going to take another couple of minutes. So we'll just make sure once that's copied across, it's in the right folder. And then we'll unplug the watch once we've ejected it. At a later date, if you do want to delete the maps, you can do the reverse using the Android file transfer. Locate your Garmin folder. Just be very careful what you're deleting. You don't delete something incorrectly. Locate the TT50 DEM map 
image file and then you could delete it off your watch if you need in the space and as long as you've got it saved somewhere in your downloads you can always copy it back onto the watch so we hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching hi this is andy from gps training just part two of the video where we showed you how to download toki toaster maps onto your compatible garmin watch i've now got two watches alongside each other i've got the epix 2 with the white band to the left hand side and i've got the phoenix 7 x sapphire solar to the right hand side both of these have got the same map on which you can see this is the toki toaster map so it's just to give you an idea what they look like on the two watches so i'm just going to move this one slightly further up and i'll move this one further up and just let it reload and get them to a similar position and again you can see the sort of information we're seeing buildings on them the little red dashes are the footpaths if i move it to the right and i'll just move this one to the right and we're just going into some more urban environment with some streets marked and buildings and again i'm just going to move this one over again so we're in a similar sort of position you can see different types of coloring on the epix 2 because it's got the amoled screen so it is a bit more vibrant on the colors i can actually see symbols here for gates so you do actually get gates and styles marked on the map we do have field boundaries marked so as i move it over to the right we've actually got some field boundaries on the map i'm just going to zoom out on both of them just so we're not zoomed in quite as close just using the buttons on the side and then i'm just going to move them a little bit further see if we can give you an example of some contour lines as well so you might not be able to see it that clearly on the video but there is contour lines on the map as we move it you'll see the colors here a lot more vibrant on the epix 2 but still really nice on the phoenix 7 x it's still a nice detailed map so it's just to give you an idea of what it looks like on the two units so I'll just do one last move over here we can see a few more contour lines starting to appear and it just gives you an idea of how it looks on the two different watches and then i'll just get that one so it's at a similar place so i'll just move it there and you can see we're in a very similar place here the field's starting to appear at the top left you can see the field boundaries on both of the watches so we know it's not an ordnance survey map but it does have more detail than garmin's built-in topo active maps so what i'm going to show you now is a couple of settings that we change on the watch so that we can use these maps so i'm just going to put the two back to where we currently are by hitting the back button on both of the watches so regardless of which watch you've got the phoenix 7 or the epix 2 that i'm using there's a setting we've changed to turn off the european maps and make sure the toki toaster ones are enabled so i'm actually using the map setting which i got from the start stop button button so i'll just give you an idea of the map setting first so i've got the touch screen enabled with map shown as highlighted i'm just going to press the middle left hand button in to go into map settings touch on map settings touch on map and where it says configure maps the top option you'll see topo active maps i've got turned off and if i scroll down to the toki toaster they're turned on we do the same for each of the profiles that you want to see a different map on so if i was to scroll to say my run profile as an example there's my run one if i press the middle left hand button to go into run settings select run settings I have to change what map I want to see so for different activities you can have different maps configured so if I go configure maps topo active maps turn on the European maps that come preloaded with this watch scroll down to the toki toaster and turn them off hit the back button and then what you'll see on this watch if I go into run as if I was doing an activity and scroll down to the map screen we'll actually see Garmin's topo active European map compared to the toki toaster map on the right hand side on the phoenix 7 i'll just hold that up so you can see that a little bit clearer so scarbin's topo active on the left hand side and it was the toki toaster on the right hand side the other setting we like to change is the detail level on the maps and you do this exactly the same for both watches so i'm just hitting the back button to come right back out to the watch face from the main menu when i'm on the watch face holding the middle left hand button in i'm just going to scroll down till i see the settings and in settings i'm just looking for the option map 
and on the map settings as I scroll down you'll see one of the settings you can see whether you want to see contour lines things like that but one of the settings is detail and we've got the detail level set to high that is normal and less so we do recommend if you want to see more information on the map setting that to high but I hope you found the video useful just on a comparison on the map so I'm just going to actually load this one back up so we got the topoactive Garmin one so at the minute we've got the Garmin map on the left hand side on the Epix watch and we've got the Toki Toaster map on the Phoenix 7X watch but we hope that's just give you an idea what the maps look like how you change the settings and how you get those maps onto the watches and thanks for watching